Hello everyone, how you doing? I hope you have a great day. In this video I'm going to show you some tips and tricks to use on Pudge of Launcher. But before we start the video leave a like and subscribe. Now, let's get started. On Android, if you experienced a lot of crashes, try to enable these options on video settings. I always have them by default. But I didn't know they prevent crashes until the admin on my Discord server told me about it. So, enable them if you don't want to crash. Don't allocate so much RAM. Some people think if they give the game more RAM, it will be much better, but this is the complete opposite. Giving the game more RAM than normal will make the game unplayable and crashing a lot. So, how much RAM do I need to allocate? Depending on your phone RAM, use this picture from my Discord server. I have an entire section for tips and known issues for Pudge of Launcher, and I always add more if I found one. If you want to get in-depth on Pudge of Launcher mechanics join my Discord server, I always fix any one issue there as fast as possible. Anyway, let's move on. If you're playing on any version, open log output. This will help you know if the game is running or not instead of waiting 10 minutes knowing nothing. As you can see there's nothing so I should leave, right? Wrong. This is also why people think their pojav is broken. Because they don't wait enough. Always remember you're playing on phone not PC. Everything will take time to load. You need to be patient. Always make a void world. If you just started your pojav launcher, don't enter your world immediately. Instead make void world. By doing this, you're allowing Pudge of Launcher to take the time and optimize the game for you. Trust me, I always do this, and you can tell the difference when you try it. Let me show you the differences. I told you, the differences are so obvious. You don't have to create a new void world every time. Just make one and join it. Or you can join your favorite world and wait for your game to be optimized. But that will take much longer. Now, let's move to the next one. You can change the game resolution in game on iOS. This allows you to get high frame rate, but with low resolution. If you can't run the game with high resolution, not only that, 4K is supported on iOS. I don't know who is going to use, but hey, it does exist. This is 4K with 2 chunks. I don't recommend playing with this. This is 10 chunks with the lowest resolution, and I'm getting 60 FPS.
And yeah, this it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And see you guys in the next video.